The Four Views on the Historical Adam is a book that is very important uh, for the current contemporary evangelical saying. Uh, there's typically uh, two broad sides taken on the debate, those who are rejecting the historical Adam and those who are accepting the historical Adam. So why is this debate important? It's very important because it has everything to do with our view of scripture, how we understand redemptive history from the first Adam to the last Adam, Jesus Christ, and whether we think that the biblical authors, such as Paul, for example, in Romans 5, actually got Adam right or wrong. So this issue doesn't just touch on Adam, it actually touches on hermeneutics, the doctrine of scripture, even related to the gospel and redemptive history. And those are issues that evangelicals today must address and will have to address in the future. Each of the contributors don't just touch on Adam and leave it at that. No, they do much more. They talk about how we should even approach the Bible. How should we interpret the book of Genesis? They talk about what is the relationship between science and faith and how do we understand evolution? Should evolution be rejected? Should it be accepted? And how does that play into how we read the book of Genesis? So our authors touch on those issues. Uh, they also touch on broader theological issues. How does our acceptance or rejection of a historical Adam relate to how we understand sin in the world or salvation from Adam to Christ? Um, or a bigger picture question is, how do we understand scripture itself? Are the biblical authors telling us the truth about Adam or were they uh, giving us a, a picture of Adam that was more mythological um, and something that we should reject today.